Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And tonight, y'all, you know I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. So for, first of all, for those that asked about the coffee table, that was Miss Jacqueline the Visionary. Uh, you asked, was there going to be a part two on the coffee table? Uh, you know, how to have an Afrocentric coffee table. It will be, and I'll do that tomorrow morning. But today, I actually wanted, tonight I wanted to start the uh, feng shui, the feng shui series that you all said that you are interested in and you want to understand, have a better understanding of it. So let's do it today. And of course, I'm going to do it from an Afrocentric perspective because I think that it's important to do that. Also, I'm going to tell you what it is in the Chinese tradition as far as feng shui and how you can tweak that to fit yours. And then, because and, for me, it's about having all the elements, but I do have to say that when you actually follow it and, you know, as close to it as possibly you can, you actually will see results. So first of all, can we say, yay, I'm so glad, Lakeisha. Can we get, thank you, you already do it. Give a thumbs up just for the fact that we're doing feng shui from an Afrocentric perspective. Can we thumbs up on the feng shui from the Afrocentric perspective? Let's do it. Yes, queen. Thank you, I'm guys. Hey, Camille. Hey, beautiful ladies. So let's start off with the basic corners. Now, this is how I grew up. Remember, y'all, I tell you about my story, my life, and my mama, who was a metaphysics feng shui queen. She loved feng shui. Yes, goddess. That's right, queen. She loved feng shui. And so we practiced it somewhat in our home when we could, but we knew of it always, okay? So just think about that. So let's talk about your entryway. This is why I'm standing here. So I'm standing at the door of my living room, and feng shui can be applied to every room in your home that has a doorway. The doorway is the most important part of the room because it is the gateway. It is the opening, so it is everything. So everything will be in reference to the doorway. And you'll see it and you'll be able to apply these same techniques to every door or every room in your home. But I always feel like the living room, where the room where you live, or the room that you, the living room, let's just start with, in the bedroom, but the living room. For me, I feel like that is really a microcosm of the macrocosm called your life. Your home is a mic microcosm is a, a reflection, is a manifestation of everything within your ma ma macrocosm, which is you, okay? So let's go. And so feng shui is all about corners, and they create this thing called a bagua. Now, I may be saying it incorrectly, but it's B-A-G-U-A, -A, and it's a chart. And it basically is a chart that simply, I'm, I'm doing feng shui simplified, which I think you would want, that says that your corners matter. Corner one corner two, we're just going to say corner one, two, three, and four, but believe me, the numbers, don't worry about the numbers. So your farthest right-hand corner, when you enter, wherever your entrance to your room is, okay? So I want to make sure I'm clear. So I'm entering my room, which is the living room. The farthest right-hand corner is all about relationships. So this is your relationship corner. This is when you want a relationship and you want to have one, and, or you want to keep the one you have great, or you want to promote more relationships. And this is not just, hey, Belinda, this is not just male-female, but definitely male-female or female-female, whatever, partnership. But it's also uh, family relationships and others. But most people call it their love corner. So you do the math and think about what the love corner equals to you, okay? So a lot of times, so this is the father's right-hand corner, Farthest, right here corner. This is usually the corner where you would have couples. So it look like this might not be. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, like, I got two female dolls. Unless you into the two females, then this would be the perfect thing for the corner. But if you want a male-female relationship, you might not want to do the two dolls. So see, I'm gonna rethink that corner choice. But it really is like this is where you would put two. Uh, what is it? It's the uh, 
it's the birds that mate forever lovebirds. So you might do lovebirds in there or two flowers, but in pairs like two roses or figurines of a man and a woman, whatever, or whatever your partnership looks like to you. I know Camille. <laughs> Thank you, Camille. Thank you for being like, girl, I get you. you. Yeah, I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? And I just put her in, so that tell you where I am. <laughs> Not, but yeah. So, you know, figurines, whatever represents love to you, a heart, a roses, red roses specifically, because red is the most auspicious color in feng shui, which is mean it's the most, it's the color that is about good luck. So if you have some form of red like this, then you're in there. So this is kind of the corner, but I'm explaining to you where this area might be considered because things do overlap and it's not everything's not so finite. But if you want, and so if you have a relationship and you want to make it last and you want a beautiful suggestion, a picture of you and your honey to make that everlasting love. Yes, uh, definitely. Oh, okay, okay, uh-huh, okay, okay. That's good too. So think about what's in your right corner, your left, your your furthest right corner. And I can see a picture of you and your honey. Let's just say you're already married, but you know you want the relationship to sustain, or you want a relationship so you don't put pic you can put pictures. You can do beautiful black art, and I will suggest that, of couples embracing. Somebody hooked me on to his name is Wack W A K. I think his it's spelled back. I think it's Kevin A. Williams. I want to say that. But his art is beautiful and has a lot of, of the man and woman embracing, you know, tenderly. This is the corner where you would have that. Okay, y'all. So just, just, just letting you go. Okay, so then in the middle, we're still in the back. We're still in the far, this wall, when you enter your front door. Front doorway. That's really more specific. This is fame and fortune. So you see how I got me up there? That's that. Well, this is Sharon Dubois actually did this picture of me. So me in the fame of fortune quarter is not bad. But this is also where you put like I have pack. Yes. Oh, you do. Okay, Belinda King. So you you get it. So this is where you would. This is the middle. So this is the right furthest right corner. This is the middle of the back of the back wall. This is your fame and fortune, fame and reputation. Let me be specific. So, like, I have pictures of this in my old house. It would be, I have a picture of me and Elvin Jones from the John Coltrane Quartet, me and the last poets, because I was a poet, me and my dancer, Evelyn Thomas, which I still have. Those are the pictures that would be there. But also, it could be you, because you want that fame, If you, especially if you're in the performing arts or you're doing something, or even goddess, what we're doing as coaches or anything like that, you want to be known, you want to be famous, and you want to have a great reputation, Think about what you would put in the middle. Now, the farthest left corner is fortune, blessings, and wealth. Fortune, blessings, and wealth. So you want to look at what's in that corner. So, again, you could do uh, lots of things. Always, if you do a plant, make sure it's alive because you want to make sure that your fortune is growing. So in my corner, I have light. Light is all, they're called, now. so these are things called feng shui cures. So that if you your corner's a little off, you can do cures. And lighting, mirrors are all cures. So that's the, another thing about my relationship corner. Not only does it, it has the Sankofa, go back and fetch what was lost and bring back a new, that's good. We're going to change the dolls and put a male and female doll in there because uh, Camille Tony Johnson already made those for me, so I don't know. We'll, we'll work that out. But uh, but also it's dark. So remember I was talking about lighting that corner. That's my relationship corner. Ooh, my relationship corner is a little dark. Not good. So we want to put light in that corner. Well, we already have light in the fortune, blessing, and wealth. But things you can put, like, let's. I'm going to show you something we can change right now. So here is the ancestor's money. Oops. Okay, hold on. Let's put the ancestor's money in this corner because... This is about wealth. So you want to put, so I have my mother, I have this candle, I have this light. The light is working. My mom, true, she definitely brings, she told me she was going to bring me money, but also symbolisms of money. Uh, war, pictures of waterfall, things that flow. 
Anything that can, of course, plants are excellent that's alive. That's, I mean, that's kind of in the corner, and that would actually be suitable. But you see how these figurines are? These, this is a couple, and that's a couple, and even the, the kids are a couple. This would probably, this whole feature, if it wasn't about the sun, would probably be better in that corner. But you can still do something over there for your relationship corner. But just think about what is, and if you're enjoying this information, please thumbs up, please like, share, and comment. I really want your comments too, because I want to be able to lead you and help you. So this corner is fortune, uh, blessings, and wealth, right? So what's in your, and so but the good part is, there's, I have the kind of green and the red, and I have the auspicious color, the good luck color, which is red, and I also have a green tablecloth. All of that counts. But you want to show, thank you, darling, you want to show abundance. You want to make sure that what represents abundance to you, you want to put that in the corner. Okay, so we're now we're in the middle of the house, right, the middle of the room. So let's go back here. This, the, the, so this, this here, the furthest right-hand middle would be children and creativity. This is when you have pictures of children's finger painting, artwork, or literally art of children. There's some beautiful black art that depicts children. You would have it in the middle. So I'm going to consider her child because she looks young. But you would have it in this section right here. Then you would have the center. And the center, usually for many of us, is the coffee table. So the center is really about... It's, it's, it's kind of that, that space of whatever you want it to be. What is the center of your life? So in a sense, I kind of got that. It's Afrocentricity. It's, it's uh, decorating. It's pretty things. It's spiritual incense. It's, it's calling up the divine. It's live flowers. So your coffee table, actually, it's not a coincidence that your coffee table is usually in the center of the room. So now you got to just be more, and that's why I'm going to do the coffee table part two. You want to be more cognizant of what is in or on your coffee table. If you have one, what's in your center? So again, Feng Shui is asking you to ask yourself what's in those corners that's supposed to bring everything together. So you got the center, and now you got the middle, which would be, I guess, really Lapita. Let me see. The, she's, this is about the middle is about health and family. So this is really the better place to put your family pictures. So if you think about the other place, I had my family pictures over here. And actually in my, rep, in my uh, relationship corner, we had a lot of beautiful plants, but there was a plant in that relationship corner that was dying. So there you go, you, you choose. Oh, and wait, let's go back to fortune and blessings is the cotton and then my mother. And then I notice my mother is here. In a way, I'm on it because my mother promised to bring me fortunes and blessings before she left the earth, okay? So, so remember, so we're in the center. So we have, so let's talk about that. Let's go back. We have the furthest right-hand corner's relationships. The middle is fame and reputation. And the, the left-hand, furthest left-hand corner is fortune and blessings. We go to the middle. The middle is children and creativity. This is the center, which usually is your coffee table, and the center on this side is health and family. Let's go to the corners as we first approach the room. This corner here is travel and helpful, helpful people. So, I mean, it's, it's all metaphoric, too, now. It's definitely, I would say, Harry Tubman represents travel. But you see how I got that, that picture of the couple that is embracing and dancing and hope it. That might be suitable, and I, I'm going to consider that. Put that in that corner, because that's the relationship corner. So take out this and just put it right there. You can push up the Sankofa, and you would be good. Or you could actually, since Sankofa is to go back and fetch what was lost and bring it back anew, why not bring my Sankofa, that's the bird that's with the head looking back, bring this, trade it. I'm going to do that tonight. Take Sankofa, put Sankofa in the travel, since that is a, in a spiritual traveling, go back and fetch what was lost and bring back anew. Take the couple, which is a great picture, and put it right there. Also, the comedic goddesses is actually the idea of I really want to go to Egypt, so they're actually in the right place. And then light in every corner is a must or a good thing. Do you see how you can just switch things around? So we have the travel and helpful people. 
So right here, kind of in the middle, which is which I will say is adjacent to the coffee table, this is where you want to have your career and life path. So your career and life path. So this chair on some level should represent your career and life path. But let me show you how you can get that in. You can use, if you have wall space, you can use the wall space here for your diplomas, for your certificates, for your awards that you ever received. This would be the place to do it. And then the furthest corner as you enter your room to the left is knowledge and self, uh, self cultivation. So let's go back. Let me let me go back. I said career and life path. This is what you want to. The career and life path is more of the life that you want. You may not have it, but pictures of that what you want. This is where your treasure maps would come in. Your vision boards. This is where that would come in. Now let's go back to the furthest right left hand corner. This is knowledge and self cultivation. This is where. You would put your diplomas, anything of knowledge, of cultivation, your awards you got. Maybe you got your yoga training certificate. Maybe you got your Reiki certificate. You know, maybe you got a straight diploma. Whatever that is, that would be here. And really, that's the first lesson in feng shui. It's all about the corner. So let's kind of go into what are some aspects of the corners that you always want to look for. First of all, dying plants, get rid of them in any corner, but particularly in your wealth or your wealth corner or your relationship corner. Relationship corner, you got to show a relationship <laughs> and there has to be light. All corner, you want to do a cure if your relationships are in the dark, then you want to actually put light in those corners in order for you to bring in the vibrational frequency of that which you want. Another thing is live things, but just make sure that they stay alive, okay? And again, you can do it Afrocentrically. Some people will literally say, oh, the Asians do food dogs in the front of their house for protection, but that's really not your culture. So you can do, as far as representing male, female. Now, see, I got the male, female representation, but they would actually do better slide over a bit more because right now they're really in the uh, they're in the center, right? So they're really in the um, in the well center. They're in the children and creativity kind of situation. So moving them over just to, to put them in the 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 relationship. So just kind of like a general and in health and family. Let's go center health and family. Think about what health looks like for you. And again, family photos will go good. Now, what I've done is I love all the aspects of feng shui. And sometimes it's hard for me to stick to that kind of thing. But actually, I realized I could easily do it. But I just don't want the family photos here anymore. So just having them in the space also helps as well. The idea of feng shui is that, you know, the, you, the, everything is connected and everything is holistic. And that what's in is with as above, so below. It's within, so without. And how do we? Move, how does our space flow? It's all about the chi. It's all about the chi. It's all about the flow. So there's other things like if you find that you're walking but you can't, like it kind of here is a tight space. Like I can actually get through. Then you might want to reposition your furniture in a way that makes everything flow. So it's all about the flow. So that's lesson number one. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to keep it short, um, but I wanted to make sure that I did talk about it. So Lakeisha, hello. I was just watching your last home decor video. Laugh out loud. Yay. I swear you just you just changed my title to fitness feng shui coach. It's about moving the energy. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Camille. Hey, sis. I am God. You always confirm it for me. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mezra. How you doing, darling? Yay. Super excited, inspiring. I'm almost done with my home, but you're giving me a whole new way to finish off the space. Yay. Hey, Belinda. Hey, girl. Camille, laugh out loud. You know, I know what that is. Putting my dogs on my altar in the right corner. Yes. I have a lot of his work. Oh, walk is so wonderful, isn't it? Belinda says, thumbs up, thumbs up, Camille, thumbs up. Thank you, Victoria's Diary. Good evening. I'm glad to join you. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Victoria. No, I just realized who you are. How you doing? How you doing, young sweet thing? How you doing, girl? Soji, how are you? Everything beautiful spirit to you, too. Soji, thank you for all your loving and wonderful inspirations and just everything. I really appreciate you. Yes, Belinda King, Walk is a very good artist. Yes, Soji got me. Soji, you know, Soji, I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if you saw 
one of my videos, but I actually went and bought the print of uh, Basking in the Glow. Yes, I bought it. It was $4.99. Shipping was more than the actual print, but I do have it, and it'll be arriving soon. So I really wanted to thank you for that. Good, and you, it's always my pleasure. Thank you, Victoria. Yes, darling. So you see, Victoria, I hope you've been catching up on the videos. You know, I moved, I had a new space. Yes, it's the least I can do for what you have given me. Oh, thank you, darling. You, yeah, you totally have inspired. So you got your corners. Let's go over the corners again before we call it a night and then think about your corners. So the idea of feng shui is this. It's not so much that, oh my God, my corners are not, I don't have the right stuff in the corner. It's also understanding why your life is going the way it is. So if you think about it, oh, thank you, Victoria. I appreciate that. She says, yes, the South is lucky to have you. And Melinda said, I'm so glad I got back on. Been sick, been, but being here gives me life. I'm so glad, sweetie. I was so concerned. You know, I talked to your daughter, and she told me, and I told her to tell you that I was praying and sending you love and light during your journey. And so I hope that you got that message because I, I did call. I did get in touch with your family to make sure you was well. So let's go back. Furthest right-hand corner is relationships. Again, I don't know. I might want to fix the two queens there <laughs> in the chair. Okay, good, Melinda. I'm so glad. So think about what represents a relationship to you. And listen, y'all, let's say you say, well, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. or I'm you know, celibate or I'm just not doing that. It's all relationships. So if you have a strained relationship or maybe you really want to get find your mother or your father, I'm, I'm, I got to give you the, the other stuff that the books ain't going to put down. Then this is a great place to really rekindle even relationships or your mother passed, but it wasn't a strange relationship or it was strained in general or your father. This is a great place to put those kind of pictures there. So remember, if we go for that this is the relationship corner and the opposite corner of that is the travel and helpful people, like I said, let's take Sankofa, let's put Sankofa right there. Let's take that, because I love that with the two cup, the couple rather, dancing, let's put that right there. We just fixed that. We just made that work. Let's go in the middle. No, let's go back to the wall. So we have relationship, we have fame and fortune, or rep, fame and reputation in the middle, and then we have fortune, which is some people call it the money corner, which is the furthest left-hand corner. More money, fortune, blessings, wealth. Let's go now to the middle. We have children and creativity, pictures of children. I used to keep children's books, which I do have, in a little basket right in the middle for kids when they came by. But also, you can also, they say, children's art, literally like finger painting or anything that has been literally done or touched by children. Even toys, mothers that have bags, or I'm sorry, baskets or, or, or something of toys, excellent place to actually place those. Now we have the center. And again, the question for the center is what is in your center? What is holding all together? To me, the center represents who are you? When people come in, they look at the, the center, and they go, oh, I know who you are. That's what that is. And then remember, the center here would be health and family. This is the family pictures. This is if somebody is sick and they're not doing well or you want them to heal, you would put probably a picture of them or some symbol of health in the center. Now let's just go back here. We have travel and helpful people. I ain't traveling in a while, so that Sankofa would be better here. Definitely Harriet Tubman. Let's see if she will, if this camera will focus. I never had focus problems before, but I guess I'm having them now. There she go. I think she's definitely she 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 ran the Underground Railroad. She was traveling, okay? So like metaphoric, like get the metaphors too, because that actually helps as well. But think about it too, about your when we talk about corner, we're talking about we're talking about travel and helpful people. In a set, this is the corner too. You can call it the center, but really it's the corner. That was said it's so open to interpretation. So your ancestors are definitely travelers. Your masks have traveled from around the world. Actually, this would actually work for the travel and helpful people because the ancestors are your helpful people and your masks are definitely represent traveling. They're all from different countries within Africa. So you see how a lot of times you already got it, and then the Kemetic Sisters represents the travel as well. So we're going to the, this further right-hand corner, when you f further meaning closest when you first come in. 
Then we have, this is the career path here. So what's going on here that could represent your career path? And then, the la and then that furthest corner is your knowledge and self-cultivation. Uh, so what, what in this, like I got a journal in that corner. That, that would be knowledge and self-cultivation. And I got a pen. So I have a book and a pen. Also, I got my Canara with my, uh, with my Kwanzaa candles. So in a sense, that's like knowledge and wisdom. And then my mama is, wow, y'all think, think I'm something? I wish if she was here, you'll be like, you'll be like, Lisa Marie, could you could you put your mama on YouTube, please? <laughs> could you ask your mama? Could you ask your mama to come back and talk again? Like, I wish she was alive so she could see how much how how oh my god appreciated that she would have been and that she just needed a little more time to find the right people. But as the ancestors said, she is here now and she is in me and through me and working with me. So I have to look at it that way. So thumbs up if this was helpful. Thumbs up if you want the part two and me to go into details. Because what I would like to talk about the next time we meet is the cures. What you can do in a space that you can't change things around. Maybe you're in a, you're, you're, you're living with your parents or or the space is just it's just so dark and there's no plug or whatever that is, solutions and cures on how you can actually fix those spots and those places in order to make it better. So, yeah. So thank you, Belinda and everyone else. So, yeah, thumbs up. And I know, Belinda, that means you thumbs up in the thumbs up section. So, yeah, if you thumbs up in the thumbs up section, liking it, that's liking it. And then if not, if you did that already, then yes, please thumbs up again in here. So good. Okay, good. So ladies, thank you. I try to come in the evening because I, I know a lot of you work nine to fives and I, I want to ensure that you get home. So, and you can get something to watch to just soothe your mind. Thank you for the thumbs up, the like comments. I see it. Ladies, don't forget on this channel, Afro Central Home Decor and Style channel, we will be doing a virtual housewarming where I'll be opening up all the gifts that the ladies gave me. It's from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please be there. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be live. And if you want to participate, don't worry about your gift not getting here before December 1st because what I'm going to do is the gift that get here after, I'm going to come back on another day and I'll announce it to open up the rest of the gifts feel free to go to the website. I'm sorry, the links in the description box that's going to link you to the Target registry as well as the um, Amazon registry, and you can purchase something and know that you have blessed me. So so I do want to say this. This is remember when I told you that I'm not so strict as I used to be because I felt a little limited in having to stick to the corners but knowing that that exists makes sense. I feel like you should have the ch children represented. You know, and like I told you earlier, I feel like, because I do, I'm going to put books in here as well, children's books. But I always think about the babies with the mamas. That's my, that's my socks right there to keep my feet warm. But I always think about the children, and I know that they would love to shake these. I'm also going to put books in here. But Feng Shui helped me to do that. I always think about love and couples and bringing that energy into the home. So I do it through my figurines. So we have those and we also have those. And then remember, y'all, and y'all know, we also have the, the, the queen and the king and actually the pillows with the queen and the king and then the two glasses and the two candles, you know, and the flowers. So the I'm, I'm constantly finding light. Like I said, I know I need to light that up. So I'm also doing that. I also have pictures of the family in the house. I have plants that are alive. My center is about, represents me. So I'm, I'm really, so I think the thing I don't, oh, I do. Let me tell you about the achievements or the, the awards or education or fame and fortune and all that. So I actually have that. This is a, I used to work for this company, like I told you. African Roots Jazz, I didn't just perform. I actually, we, I, it was a, um, I was a private contractor for the Oakland Unified School District. And I got an award, African Roots of Jazz Performing Arts Academy, Inc., and the Oakland Unified School District, 2000 and what? One to 2005. This award is, well, I'm sure it's given to Lisa M. Sutton. That was me, a.k.a. Nubia I. 
in recognition for four years of loyal, dedicated service in the performing arts to include music, dance, drama, creative writing, school suspension, and health and wellness. E.W. Wainwright, founding director. So putting your stuff like that, that kind of takes care of that. And like I said, travel is the is the as the uh, photographs or rather the the mask. So it is in here. I just don't keep to the corners, but I'm starting to really look at that relationship one. <laughs> And I think we might want to rearrange that a bit. So I will change up. And the thing is, while I say you have to, it's an African, Afrocentric perspective, and that you have to really do it according to what you feel is, if you don't feel it, it don't matter what corner it's in. If you don't like it in that spot, that matters more. I know from the law of attraction that how you feel it's gonna, it's going to create what you bring into your life. It's the feeling that gets the blessing. So in the end, I know that, but I also know that that corner is dark, <laughs> and I know that no corner in your home should be dark if it's a place that you're looking at daily. And the fact that that's the relationship corner says a lot about me. Oh, even with my past house, I can now say, wow, our relationship corner had the dying plant in the relationship corner. So if there's a plant in your relationship corner that is dying, I would suggest you get rid of that plant and get one that you could actually nurture and take care of. If it's dark in the relationship corner, I'm just saying if that's important to you. Another important one I know is the money corner. So for me, the plants just even being around there, the cotton, the cotton is everlasting. So that's a kind of good idea, you know, the light in there and even the, the cup. So it's there. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope, ladies, that this was helpful. And uh, Tree Hug, I love it. Hi, I love seeing your decor ideas. I need to feng shui my house and declutter all the kids' toys. Yes, declutter it, but also now you know that there's a middle space for the children's toys. Hey, Layla. Hey, my first life. Hey, Layla. Con welcome to the live stream, darling. We welcome you. This is a family, a tribe, and you are now part of it. So we want to thank you for being in. So tomorrow we'll talk about the idea of cures and crystals and lighting and mirrors and stuff. And then one, the next day we'll talk about bedroom and under your bed and what you don't want under your bed and why and yeah, and like even nightstands on both sides. If you want a partnership, I only got a nightstand on one side, so I guess I'm saying something. But I'm, a t I'm and I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna like be fake <laughs> and like go fix everything before the video come. I'm gonna show you where these things are not happening in my my space, and and also what I'm learning from that because sometimes you don't want a certain thing, so you can actually purposely do the opposite of the feng shui in order to make sure that your life is where you want it to be. But always remember the law of attraction and also remember Afrocentricity. Now, there's another book, y'all. Let me go see. Please let me see if I wasn't foolish enough because I was giving away, honey, I was getting rid of books like it was no tomorrow. Now, there's an African version of feng shui. Hold on, ladies. Pray your girl didn't go buck wild. Because I, I, will, I will do the buck wild. Oh, I think I went buck wild. I must have went buck wild. Yep, I went buck wild. Okay, so, <laughs> so there is a book, uh, but I, it's very hard. Well, it was hard for me to understand, but it may not be hard for you. And it was called Per Unka. Anyway, it's a book by Layla Africa, and it is the African Feng Shui. I just know it's not here because this is where I put all the books that I kept. And I just didn't keep it. But that's another version of that we were doing this a long time ago. And so that's why I bring it to you. When I taught my course, Sacred Space, I taught it from having those elements in your house and not necessarily be stuck to the corner. But again, I, I still want to teach you the so-called, quote-unquote, proper way so that you could, you know, you could feel it. Okay, ladies? 
Hey, this is my first live also. I watch your videos first because I learned so much. Oh, Hendria, how are you, darling? Thank you so much. I love it. That's right. Look what Toya says. Okay. Is anyone else having computer problems or is it just me? I keep having to restart. Oh, I hope not. Victoria says, what time tomorrow? What time tomorrow? Okay. Hey, okay. So, Victoria, let's do the same time tomorrow. And I think that was about 8 o'clock in the evening. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I said Friday. Oh my God, Friday. Let's do, let's do 7 p.m. tomorrow, Friday. Since it's Friday, so I hope to see you all, and I hope you're not having problems. I, I worked with my Wi-Fi guy today, and I was like, make sure my live streams are good. All right, ladies, share the video, subscribe if you want to, comment and like the video so other people can see it as well. So yeah, I just want you to understand feng shui. But I also want you to understand you because I think you are the, the, the laugh out loud. I went buck wild too. I had to go back. <laughs> Camille says, I had to go back and retrieve my books from the garbage. Look, Camille, I understand. I understand. You was, you was caught up. I was like, throw it all away. But you know what? Yeah, I think Mercury is still, yes, it is in retrograde. And I was thinking about that Mez, uh, Mirage, Mezraz, I was thinking, Mirage, I was thinking so much about. Mercury retrograde when all my live streams kept cutting off. I was like, girl, you know, somebody just told you it was Mercury retrograde. So, yeah, the thing is, you know, I did go buck wild. I was like, you know what? I ain't reading this book. I don't understand this book. Oh, I don't want this book. I don't want to read this book. And I, I, I says, Goodwill, I hope somebody will listen to me. When I donate to Goodwill, y'all, I imagine that somebody got something that I donated and it's like, oh my God. What a, what a school. I scored. Like, I got this beautiful da-da-da-da. I love giving my stuff away. So even when I go back and be like, where's that book? <laughs> where's that dress? I never feel bad because I always feel like, hey, you know what? At the moment, I know that was the right thing, and I don't mind if it's gone. So I know it's hard to let things go, but that per Anka, it, you can look at it. I think I want to say it's per Anka by Layla Africa, but when I looked at it, I was like, I'm so confused, you know, like it was a little, I needed a little more layman terms. You gotta understand, I don't know if you're familiar at all with Dr. Layla, La Layla Africa. He's a scholar, he's so goddamn brilliant. Let's watch his videos, and I'll link a video to the description box, just so you can just get to know if you don't know him. He's so brilliant. And I love that when he talks in layman terms, like, I'm with him. But he wrote that per on cars, like, oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to somebody that's going to buy it and think, I get it, you know, and help to break it down. But he's a brilliant, brilliant brother, and I love him. And I speak highly of him because there was a couple of women that told me that he told them, you want to really learn about holistic health when it comes to black holistic health from a woman's perspective, he told them, go to Nubia I, Lisa Marie Goodson. So I'm, I ain't mad at him. He just, he just brilliant. I, I'm, I'm not that brilliant. Okay. Yes. So Mercury Retro is really messing with my electrons today. Yes, Victoria. I know that. It's, it's on like hot butter popcorn. We'll do a video on that as well. Because I think that the Mercury Retrograde tells us that you said it, you got, you put, the, you got it with your message out, and now you should be quiet. <laughs> so I'm going to take a page out of that book. I love you, ladies. I will see you in the next. Yes, yeah, Shirley, this, isn't he amazing? Oh, my. Like, when I say much respect, so don't get me wrong when I put his book in the Goodwill. It wasn't because it wasn't good. It wasn't because I wasn't at the, the level of understanding, overstanding, and understanding of what the brother was saying. You understand what I'm saying? But if somebody else says that got that book, I'm so happy. I gave away African clothes that didn't fit, and I was holding them for three years going, I bet if I fast for 21 days or more, I could still fit in this. And Spirit was like, is that how you want to live your life? Is that is that really how you want to live? You, you, you can't fit that. You, you ain't never going to fit that in this lifetime unless you starve yourself. And I was thinking, starve myself? Mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. So, you know, that's another thing. You know, we don't talk a lot about that on this channel, but we will start doing that in 2019. Let's talk more about purging. I think purging is good. And I think it's wonderful because that's the idea of feng shui. First thing in feng shui, it says declutter. What was it? Clear your clutter. I think her name was Karen Kingston. 
That's an amazing feng shui book. I highly recommend it. It's a little small book, and it's called, I want to I say it's called Clear Your Cl Clutter. And I know her name is Karen Kingston. And it's the littlest, tiniest book. And it is, it's a white woman, but it's so helpful. The basis of all feng shui is to clean the clutter, declutter, and then get up in your space. Another thing about feng shui, we'll have another night about that. Tomorrow is the cures, things that you can do to fix things. But the next day, next night, whatever night that is going to be, I really want to talk about the idea of cleanliness as a feng shui technique. I practiced that one when I needed to in situations and how just cleaning, and that's what the idea of the Bible, I'm not Christian, but I do understand that, that cleanliness is close to godliness, breaking that down on a metaphysical level in your space, and you're going to say, oh, ish, like, wow. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. So, yes, I have the Af right, African Holistic Health. I got it because, oh, my lupus. Hey, Victoria, you know, my mom had lupus, um, and she cured herself of it using herbs. So let's, let's, I'll do some videos on how my mom cured herself of lupus with the herbs, and we'll talk more about that as well. So we can get that. We can get that out of your life, girl. You know, we don't want that for you. We want the best for you. So, all right, beautiful queens. I will show you my myself, but I put, the, in order to get that epic fro you saw earlier, I got to do the buckwheat, like, oh, y'all call them steely, steely braids. And it ain't, mm. <laughs> Yeah, we won't be doing that today, but maybe one day. All right, ladies, I love you so much. I thank you so much. I'm going to retire to my bedroom. I've been like, let me just say, when you hook up your living room, that's my throw now. That's the throw. I, I switched some things around. Watch the earlier video. When you hook up your living room in a way that makes you feel good, you actually spend time in there. And spending time in there makes you think about feng shui. All right, ladies, this is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. Again, let me just remind you of the virtual housewarming that will take place on this channel from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Saturday, December 1. And again, there is a wish list if you are, if you are so inclined that you say, you know what? I love this woman and I want to get her something off her wish list. There's things there for $5.99. Just to let you know, $10, $15, and more, where I think it wouldn't hurt your pocket, and you get to see your gift open on air. And I promise y'all, <laughs> when you see me again, we're going to work on this corner right here, okay? We're going to work on the relationship corner, I promise, ladies. I love you, and I thank you so much for requesting this and wanting this series, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.